revolutionary forces in Libya continue their push into District 2. That's the neighborhood in Sirte, where the last remnants of former leader Muammar Gaddafi loyalists are putting up strong resistance. <laughs> Commanders now say they hold more than 80% of the city, but Gaddafi loyalists also hold the desert enclave of Bani Walid. And more than two months after the fall of Tripoli, they're showing little sign of giving up. But Libya's de facto leader, Mustafa Abdul Jalil, has said he expects to declare total victory in less than a week. CERT has largely been abandoned during the fighting. This resident returned to collect personal items from his home which is believed to have been used by loyalists as a firing position. Their uniforms were left behind. In his assessment of the situation, the man would only say the picture speaks for itself. As fighting continues in Libya, NATO's secretary general in Belgium is calling their months-long bombing campaign a positive story, showcasing the commitment of the alliance's European members, saying it's the first time in the alliance's history that European members in Canada rather than the United States, provided the majority of military assets in such an operation. The bombing campaign is credited with destroying Gaddafi's military and paving the way for the victory of the former rebels. Matt Small, The Associated Press.